Hi, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Moodle at Ricochet. We're going to look at Moodle admin hint number two, which is how to run cron manually. The first question is, what is cron? Well, cron is a program that runs on your server. What it does is it, at specific times, it runs certain functions that clean up uh, parts of Moodle. It sorts out things like grades or removes information that's no longer necessary from log files. It manages students that are unenrolled or need to be enrolled. It manages a whole collection of different tasks that Moodle does in the background. And this happens using what is called cron. So we can actually run the cron ourselves manually if we need to. Why would you need to do that uh, on odd occasions? You may want to just run all of the cron functions to make sure that you're getting the latest of all the data that's, uh, that is in Moodle. How do we do this? Quite simple. If you're an administrator, we go to Site Administration, Security, and Site Security Settings. Now let's go and have a look there. So we go Site Administration. Scroll down to Security and site security settings. If we head all the way down to the bottom, of site security settings, or a fair way down, you'll see here we have a line that says cron execution via command line only. Uh, by default, that is yes. So that means it's only command line. Now we want to be able to run that from the browser. So we need to make sure that that says no so that we can check this or we can run cron from the browser. You can do it from the command line if you know how to do that. You need special access for that as well. You will then need to or should use a password. So let's create a password here. That's all we need to do. So let's go down the bottom and save changes. Now that we've saved the changes, we're just going to scroll back down and grab just this last bit here. Admin cron password. And we're going to paste this up the top of our server URL, like so, and put in our password that we created. And our password looks like this. Let's go up the top and put our password in. Obviously, you need a very secure password if you're going to use this. When we press Enter, you'll see that it runs a whole collection of tasks. And these are all the cron tasks that Moodle is running or needed to run and I would recommend if you're going to run them run them at least once maybe twice maybe even three times to make sure that all of the tasks are run and that's how you run all of your cron tasks manually if you uh, would like to know about some more of the top 10 admin tasks that a Moodle administrator should know about click on the link below this video and I'll take you through how to clear a cache, how to run cron, how to set tasks, turning on debugging, reading log files, edit the config, run automated backups, check performance overview, check security reports, and how to use the ad hoc database queries. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to check out more videos on how to make the most out of the Moodle learning management system.